quadrangles um, with the, um, the cherry trees and there's one on the other side I think as well. Um, wow. And through there was the woodworking class and I think the gym, the gymnasium was through there as well. I don't know whether it still is. This used to be the, there used to be a library in here. I don't know whether there still is. Because um, I can remember meeting, uh, this is where we used to hold things like the chess club in the, in the library in here. Um, um, and I have a feeling that that house there, the Sheriff Centre, I think that might have been where the headmaster's house was, where Stavely used to live. Um, <clears throat> I must admit, I'm quite impressed, really, the way it's all been extended. Yeah. The pavilion, yeah, well, oh, that's right, it was the pavilion that was over there, yes. Um, there used to be an old pavilion because <clears throat> they had the rugby pitch and the cricket pitch here. There was an old pavilion building and then um, just behind the pavilion was the, um, was the Met station. Um, and one or two people used to take great interest in taking, you know, temperature readings, humidity readings and all that, wind speeds and all that sort of thing. Um, and it would be fed into, you know, the sort of general meteorological readings for, for the country. Um, yeah, well that's all gone. No more. <laughs> I'll tell you now, you are on one of them. I am on. I've, I've found you already. Have you really? Yeah, when I came the first time I found you. Oh my goodness Took me, me ages and ages and ages, but I found you. Oh, I bet it did. And is it on one of these? It is on one... Uh, it's further over here. Oh, gracious me. 2005? No, there won't be that one. What was that one? Hasn't got, hasn't got a year on that one. Um, 58, 1940, 1966. Oh, crikey, it might have been on here. Oh, my. Ah. Okay. Um, now that is Mr. Lay. Eggy Lay, we used to call him. Um, that's Mr. Staveley, that's Mr. Skeet, that's Mr. Nason, who used to teach geography. Quarter page, map and note. Gracious me, 1966, what a memorable year that was, World Cup, oh, oh wow, I'm blowed if I can recognise any of the other people there though, probably with a magnifying glass I might recognise, <laughs> oh goodness. This is exactly how I remember the main hall. Quite daunting, really. Um, beautiful, beautiful building. Um, but this is where we used to hold the main assemblies in the mornings. And I can also remember the first year that I came here, um, we used to have films on a Friday night. And... Um, it was only for, I think, the first year that I was here. It might not even have been for the whole of the year, but on a Friday night, occasionally, they used to have films. So, yeah, but this, is, uh, this hasn't changed at all. Um, these wonderful boards, Simpson Science Prize. I don't think I'm on any of these boards, I'm afraid. 
um, head of school. Um, now, I wonder if there's anybody here that I can remember. No. <laughs> uh, oh, Ashcroft. Oh, Mike Hall. Yes, now they. Ah, oh, wow, wow, wow. Um, David Ashcroft, 1969. Mike Hall, 1969. Yes, I remember them. Some of the things come back to you, don't they, when they see these, uh, these names? Dear, oh dear. Ah, wow. So, yes, I didn't get to perform on stage, though. I think I got my reading prize presented to me from, uh, from the stage. That was about the only time I got up there, the only accolade that I had. But, um, yeah, it's good. It's good. And that wonderful organ up there. Yeah. Assemblies in the morning. Come. Oh, my goodness me. There he is. Oh, sir. He was fantastic. Um, Foster was another one as well um, that I can remember. Um, and Mr. Martin, oh, my goodness gracious me. Um, Mr. Staveley was the headmaster when I, um, when I came here. He originally came from rugby school um, because he taught Pete. Um, just to backtrack, Pete was here for two years, then he took the common, I think it was a common entrance exam, um, which he passed and that got him into rugby school. And that's where Mr. Staveley was teaching at that time. Um, I mean, there's 10 years difference between Pete and I. But then um, when Pete moved on from rugby school down to uh, Cambridge University, Staveley then came into, rug into Lawrence Sheriff as head. Um, and he was headmaster when I, when I first joined. Um, and he was absolutely brilliant. He had the most amazing memory. Uh, I'm not sure how many hundreds of students there were in the school, but he could remember everybody's surname. And everybody was known or referred to by their surnames. There were no Christian names at all. It was always Bradley or Smith or whatever. But he had an amazing memory. Um, and um, yeah, great, great bloke. Mr. Foster um, was a teacher at the school um, that I can remember. Um, and he obviously took over by the look of it from Mr. Staveley, but that was long after I had gone. Um, now, Mr. Martindale, um, he was a lovely teacher. He also had been at rugby school because Pete remembered him um, teaching at rugby school. Um, but Martindale taught me um, English literature. Um, and he was a very, very nice, softly spoken sort of a gentleman. He wouldn't harm a fly, but you had a tremendous respect for him because he had such great knowledge. And yes, I salute you.